Hi, this is Chris Charles with Everyday VBA, and in this video, we're going to be—I'm going to show you how to add a formula to a cell within VBA or within a macro. So we're going to dig in. I've got my Visual Basic editor open. If you just—if you're in Excel, you can hit Alt F11. It'll take you there. We're going to add a module. Make sure you're on the right one. I'm just doing this in Book One. We're going to add a module. This is going to be sub add formula. And you can call that whatever you want. Just need to make sure that there's no spaces. So adding a formula is actually very simple. Um, so we're going to add a formula. So we're going to just do this in. You can do it. We're going to do it in range. Uh, let's do B10. So that's my range or that's my cell. And I'm going to, in order to send a formula, all you need to do is just send the text or send a text string. And Excel will be like, oh, well, this is a formula. So we're going to go sum. And we're going to sum, let's just sum uh, A, A9 through A15. And that would be, that's a simple way to pass a formula. So I'm just going to show you how that works. It's going to show up in, in uh, A10. It's going to be a sum range there. I'm hitting F8 to walk through that and you'll notice that there is my formula. So one of the things to keep in mind is that if you're doing a formula and you're passing it from VBA, one of the things that you may consider is the R1, C1 notation, and that really is row, co row column um, notation. And so let me just show you what that looks like. So we're gonna do the same thing, range B10. I'm actually gonna put this in B11 just so that you can kind of see the difference in these. Uh, you actually won't see any difference on the front end, but you definitely will see difference on the back end. So we're going to go put it in quotes again. Now you have to do equals. Now you can do any any formula in here that you have in VBA uh, or in Excel. So you could do sum, you could do average, you could do if statements, you could do VLOOKUPs, you could do all sorts of stuff. So um, let me just show you here that what the R1C1 notation looks like. So we are going to go... The row is going to be, I'm on 11, so it's going to be minus uh, R minus 2. That means that I'm going to go up two columns. And my C is going to be C, and I'm going to go over, uh, over, over 1. And we're going to go... I'm doing this from scratch, so it's very possible that this is going to be completely off. So we're going to go R, and we're going to go 2 down to 19. So I'm just going to put in a number that's going to be, um, I'm going to put in 8. That seems about right. Actually, it's going to be 9. And then C minus 1. And this is the same notation. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what this, how this works, and then I'm going to just show you a quick tip in how to pull the R1C1 notation from Excel. So let's see if this works. It's very possible this is going to air out. It looks like it didn't. And it looks like I actually did it completely correct, except my sum range is a little a little, lo little longer. Um, but let me just show you really quick how to pull that information out. So I'm going to go to my immediate window. If you don't have your immediate window, you can just go to view and then just open that immediate window. I'm going to put a question mark, and the question mark means that I'm going to pull back data and put it into my immediate window. And I'm just going to go active cell dot formula r1c1, and if I hit if I hit enter, it's going to return what that formula looks like. And so that's a very easy way to pull in that formula. And again, it's r is r, um, and then that number is either up or down a row. C is column, and that's either to the left or to the right, and that's how that that's how those formulas work. So, hope this is really helpful when you're doing formulas in VBA. Uh, make sure that you're subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel, as well as if you like this video, put a like on there. Also, check me out on Facebook. Um, I do po post my videos there as well, and hope you enjoyed.